This is the Chima painting that St. Uh, Thomas is based on. Uh, it's about this size, actually, and, and so that's, that's the finger. And I've literally just taken Christ's chest and down Thomas's finger, and um, should we switch it on to see what happens? I'm a bit scared now. Where's, where's Nigel? Nigel? Can we just switch this on? Is that gonna, that might take the cameraman out. We might have to move a little bit. Oh. It's actually quite violent, isn't it? It is quite violent. <laughs> So it's more like a punch bag. So I want it to be like a spring, like a punch bag. And then, um, and obviously it's more kind of accusatory, I guess, about doing stuff. Does that work? Um, I'm really, I'm really um, stunned by the, the violence of this. Oh, thank you. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just wonder what your inner trauma is. <laughs> oh, I was trying to think about that on the train today. I was thinking, God, how am I going to explain all this to Charlotte? But I've no idea. Yeah, you're going to have to have psychotherapy or something, but that's the only way you're going to get it out of me. But uh, yeah, so I think maybe it's t 10 years of religious education. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my own back. <laughs> did you go to proper Catholic schools? Yeah, I did. Well? Yeah. Not at the beginning, actually. So then I meant I had to go to Saturday school to top, top up. Right. <laughs> uh, the first idea I had was to have this huge St. Catherine wheel roll through the galleries. Obviously health and safety put an end to that. <laughs> so why did you decide to focus on the saints and the National Gallery? What drew you to the saints? So, you know, I don't know. They're sort of single-minded characters, I guess. But someone like St. Catherine, and uh, I just love their story. So I started to read the Golden Legends, kind of spurred me on to reading the Golden Legend. And then now and I started- The Golden Legend is the text where lots of stories of saints yeah, are Yeah, stories of saints. Recorded. And then that kind of was my way in because um, I never went to the National Gallery as a child. Oh, stop that. And, um, you know, so it wasn't until they asked me to do this residency. Actually, all my sculptures go like this or go like that or they go like this. So they all do really kind of really dumb things. I love St. Peter Martyr because he's the one who's always with a big knife yeah, in the top of his head. Yeah, he's always got a big head, sword in his head. And sometimes know, he's a got a sad. knife in his chest as well, just to make sure. There's something funny, isn't there, about... I mean, I, sh I think I share this with you. There's there's a, a gruesome sense of satisfaction, actually, sometimes yeah. at the nastiness of the way yeah. the saints are dispatched in yeah. these Renaissance paintings, but also the kind of affectlessness of the way they're yeah. depicted. So St. Peter Martyr would be standing there looking perfectly serious and holy, but with an enormous knife sticking yeah, exactly. out of the top of his yeah, head. Yeah, that's what I like. They're having a chat about when the number 36 bus is coming along and they've got a big sword in their head. So this is a multi-saint, so yeah. lots of different saintly yeah. attributes. All Don't move in, things moving, all these wheels will move. Um, that obviously sword will hit his head. Uh, St. Lucy's eyes will move. Oh, and I've got a St. Catherine wheel a within one. all the wheels as well. Yeah, mini one. Can we, it's Nigel, can let this work? Plug it in. You, can I plug it in? Yeah. You've never allowed me to do that before. Is it gonna hit me on the head though? Where is it? Sure. This. Give it a wide berth. Last time he was giving it a bit more. Um, it was louder last time. This is Nigel from MDM, his director. He built all, built all these things, so I'm cack handed. Totally. Well, <laughs> totally. Well. Well. <laughs> This is a painting it's based on. 
So there he is receiving yeah. the stigmata outside yeah. his hermitage in Assisi. Yeah. Or near Assisi. This is St Francis, but without a head. And um, how is he going to be eventually when he's finished? What he's going to be is um, what he, he's going to be uh, the giver of, because obviously part of St Francis is, apart from he gives up all his worldly belongings and a joins like the you church. Did. Well, I didn't well, join. I didn't join. A... <laughs> didn't join the church. Or I didn't become, join a church. Or become a saint. Not yet. Yet. <laughs> But obviously, through this exhibition, I may be martyred. That's what I was thinking on the train. I may be martyred for this exhibition. <laughs> but, wait, well, uh, wait to see what the critics say. Exactly. So yeah, so this is basically based on, on uh, St. Francis. Yeah, and part of St. He also receives the wounds of Christ. And so he's, he's here receiving the wounds. And um, what he will be, he's a receptacle. <laughs> So we're going to be putting T-shirts in here, and we're going to have a lit a crane. This is all happening at the National Gallery. Going to, a crane's going to come along and come down inside St. Francis and pick out a T-shirt every half an hour for the general public. And on the T-shirt, it's going to say uh, poverty, chastity, and obedience because they're like the three religious vows and the three knots on the actual. Um, T-shirt on the, it, uh, they signify that basically, They're like their religious vows. So it's like one of those hands that pick up cuddly toys at the fairground, but bolts up. So I just like the idea of St. Francis giving something away. People said they couldn't, they found it very hard to get into my work. I didn't quite know what they meant by that, but I, so, so this is my, I'm kind of offering something. I don't quite know. So, yeah.